<sighs> what an exhausting day. As if law with Madame Yanfei couldn't be any more boring. Anyway, we should get going now. <sighs> oh. Someone might walk by, you know. I know you're tired, but we can do this somewhere more private. Can't we? Nah? You want some tender love now? <laughs> if it's you, I'll indulge you. Let me just drag a chair to your table. What? What do you mean I'm not usually this nice? <laughs> You're right. I usually like to tease you a little. But I guess I feel like indulging you today. Mm. We shouldn't stay here for long, though. Someone might walk by. Mm. What do you mean, so what? I'm on the student council. Of course I have to be careful. Being in love with a delinquent can really damage my reputation, you know. People are already calling me lazy, so I need to start picking up the slack. <laughs> what was that? Ugh, someone else is here. No, no. It wasn't just a sound in the wind. Someone else is definitely here. Come on. Uh, here. Squeezed up with you in the locker. This should be better. Well, more private, at least. What... What do you mean it smells like wet socks? This is kind of romantic. I mean, what's so bad about this? The janitor's closet is small and it's kind of stuffy. Which means it's just you and me. Isn't this what you wanted? Uh... World of our own, as you put it. Ouch. You know I'm kidding. <laughs> this is what we have to work with for now. So, less talking, alright? Less talking and more kissing. God, it's getting a little too hot in here. Hold on, let me push the door open just a bit. A little creak shouldn't cause too much suspicion. <laughs> uh, wait, someone... Listener, are you there? Aren't you always hanging out with Venti after school? 
I need to cancel our study date this Saturday. It's a shame, but I gotta help Xiang Ling with cookies again. Otherwise, she might just burn the house down. <sighs> Ugh, that bastard. <sighs> More importantly, listener, what is it he said about a study date, huh? You, you need help with calculus? But why with him? Ugh, granted, I'm not really great at that. But, you should look for someone else. Like, I don't know. M Scaramouche. I heard that he's good at math. Why not Xiao? <sighs> because he totally used to have a crush on you. And he's always been so obvious, too. Even though you and I are now official, he's still trying to find ways to spend time with you. <sighs> Scaramouche is ugly, so I'm not worried about you leaving me for him. <laughs> <sighs> Jokes aside, though, I'm actually really mad about this. I think I'll we'll have to tell Xiao to back off a little. And as for you? Huh. Listener. I think you need to be punished, too. <laughs> so very eager of you. <laughs> well, here is where I say no. <laughs> no, really. The mood's kind of gone now, so... <sighs> you... <laughs> hey, we should go back to my place. Don't worry. My dad is probably going to get lost on his way home. You know him and his early onset dementia. <laughs> Of course, I gotta help him eventually. But in the meantime, we can get something done together. Hmm? The AC at my place just got repaired a while ago, too. I think we'll have a very good time. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had some privacy. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Come on, then. <laughs>